and that's how I clean a sealed 540. Hi guys, Brett here from Hearns Hobbies and today I'd like to talk to you about cleaning, a, a method of cleaning your sealed 540 uh, and that can be from your Tamiya car and, and anything brushless ready to run. Um, sorry, brushed ready to run. So we have a, a sealed 540 configured style can and it's pretty, si pretty simple and relatively quick to do. So I thought I'd take you through a few steps and how I do it. So the first thing we want to do is actually get the motor out of the car. Um, got my handy little essential nine steps kit here. Got everything I need. This is on a VRX bullet. This car here has had about seven batteries from new. So it hasn't done a ton of work, but we should see a lot of a lot of dirt come out of the motor. Um, and like I said, this is just one way of doing it, one technique, Con commonly referred to as as dipping or water water dipping your motor. Um, it's relatively safe to to do. Can be a bit messy, I suppose. And and yeah, definitely only just do it with with plain water. Um, I've heard all sorts of hor horror stories about people using flammables and, and that sort of thing and it hasn't really worked out for them. <laughs> so a bit of a disclaimer there, only use water for this. Okay, so I've got the motor cover off. I'm going to unplug the motor. A couple of bullet connectors here. I've got the pinion off. Now I'm just looking for a two and a half mil. And these motors used to be prevalent in every RC car. Now it's really considered an entry level or old technology, but that's fine too. There's still plenty of them out there. There's nothing wrong with them. And they have a soft spot in my heart, that's for sure. So here we have it. I'm gonna get the car out of the way so we can see what's going on. So this is what we have, a very simple sealed 540, commonly referred to as, as a Mabuchi. It's like calling it a pen a biro. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I do it. So I've got a nice jar here of clean water. Gonna put the, the motor straight in. I'm going to put the wires out the top of the jar. I've made little little holes in it, hopefully big enough. For this one, not so much. Luckily, I've got my reamer here, which I'm going to get through this hole. There we go. Okay, you can see here, I've got my motor wires hanging out and my motor's in there and submerged in, in water. Now it's as simple as, I'll put a bit of a rag down. It's as simple as applying your battery to it. Now it doesn't have to be freshly charged or anything like that. I'm gonna run it for approximately 10 or 20 seconds and that's all we're gonna need. So here we go, excuse the noise. So I can see here as I'm running up, stirring the water. Sounds a little bit like a blender, I suppose. That's as simple as that, stirring up and flushing the water with motor. Flushing the motor with water. And that's as simple as it needs to be. So then I'm gonna go, go ahead, take the motor out. And you can see, I'll hold it up to the camera, how much rubbish and dirt has actually come out of it. And that's only seven, seven, six or seven batteries worth. It's got a big, black ring of, of carbon and dirt and stuff that's come out of there. So I'm gonna go ahead, give it a bit of a wipe over. I've got my nine steps cleaning putty here. 
Now it's important after this, obviously to make sure that we, we oil it because all of the, the oil and everything would have been washed out of the, the bushes. These, bear, these motors don't have bearings, but bronze, bronze, bronze light bushes. That's what makes them so affordable and reliable somewhat. So I've got my motor oil here. Don't need to flat it. I'm going to put a few drops on it. Work that into the bush. As simple as that. Wipe off the excess. I'm going to do the same at the front bearing. I'm going to work that oil in. Like so, wipe off the excess. Then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to hold it into a rag. I'm going to give it a quick spin to ensure that all the water is out. Can you hear how nice and smooth that sounds? And there we go. That is ready to be put back in the car and run. And that's how I clean a sealed 540. Thanks for watching.